How's it going everybody? So tonight we're going to be taking a look at and comparing both of my telescopes. Uh, I just did a build for the new one and it turned out pretty good. A little longer than I wanted, which I apologize, but um, uh, I didn't name the new telescope in the first video. So I uh, just stumbled across it because I had to remind myself what... Uh, what the specs were for my old telescope. Um, the new telescope is, I do believe, a National Geographic's um, 700 millimeter focal length and a 60 millimeter uh, aperture. And it's so far okay. Um, it's a little low uh, for my liking, but. Um, yeah, um, so we're going to get into comparing what uh, either of them are, and uh, let's get into it. Alright, first off for the OG of this channel, uh, my National Geographic's Newtonian Telescope. It is a 114 focal length, and I do believe I want to say it's... Oh, that doesn't sound right for me. Um, somebody can correct me in my comments. Do so. Um, 114 uh, for the uh, focal length. There we go. And I think an 80, 80, 90, something like that for the aperture. And it is a Newtonian, uh, which is great. Uh, apparently, I need to... Do some, uh, what is it, what is it, culmination on this thing. Um, I thought when I bought it that these things with proper care uh, and really hardly ever needed to be culminated, but then I'm getting really cruddy pictures and I got told uh, by somebody in my Facebook group, no, you need to culminate these things a lot. So that'll probably be our next video, culminating the Newtonian Telescope. Uh, what it comes with is a tray, which holds three eyepieces, and it comes with a phone adapter, which is mediocre, but it's great. It is uh, woven fiberglass, I think. Uh, comes with, um, you know, a pretty decent tripod, and I think it's an alt azimuth. I forget. Please correct me. Um, now, on to the new scope. So, this baby is a full... 700 and sleek focal length with a 60 millimeter aperture. Um, now, it, you know, just looking at the two, the apertures really doesn't seem quite right. I forget what this one is, but you know, um, it's all pretty decent. Um, I think this is aluminum. Um, the focus goes out a substantial amount. Um, comes with, uh, I'm kind of not happy about this, but it does come with eyepieces. They are tiny uh, compared to my other ones. These are not your standard. Um, but if I remember correctly, I don't remember if this one is. If it'll focus. Focus. No? Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, so... H20 millimeter. I don't know what the t H is on it. Uh, tripod is also aluminum. Tray is plastic. Comes with these monstrous adapters. Um, and a nice little surprise that I was not expecting. Oh, by the way, this is very nice aluminum, this stand. Um, so far, the only problem I have with the stand is that, well, I have it tightened all the way. And it's still... Uh, will budge on you. But anyway, back to the nice little surprise they give you. They give you a green filter. What it's used for, I have no idea. But other than turning things green. Um, we're definitely checking out these two and their performance tonight. Uh, and definitely excited to have two telescopes. Again, I am kind of crushed uh, that I did not get and will probably not be getting 
my telescope that I purchased for $1,000, and I just don't know. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> if I uh, purchase the telescope again, which I probably will, um, I'll just be getting it direct from actual Celestron instead of going through a middleman company like I did, uh, who will not be named. So, um, yeah. Let's get out there. It is partially cloudy, and I'm kind of nervous about what that means for astrophotography tonight. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are having fun and enjoying the video, please click a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And let's get out there, take some pictures. Alright guys, so unfortunately this is going to be kind of a bit of a voiceover, being that obviously I don't have enough light out here to show you guys anything, and I will try and absolutely get some pictures. Um, next video, either before or after, I, I can't pick it out really. It'll either come out before this one, but it'll be of me culminating the uh, Newtonian. Um, it's 50 degrees out right now and pretty cold for what I mean the temperature around where I live has dropped pretty good right now I'm just moving the telescopes into position um, unfortunately the new telescope I cannot take pictures out of the eyepiece is too small all right so what do I got going in my night sky tonight I have the moon nice and bright um, also, Mars, and Pleiades, and Orion. Now, what I am looking for tonight, hopefully, if the moon would cooperate, is the Orion Nebula. Now, am I going to be able to get pictures? Mm, probably not. I'll see what I can get you guys. Alright, guys, so tonight was unfortunately an unsuccessful night. This is literally about four minutes after I just recorded me talking about how bright the moon is and all that. Um, I'm heading inside. Unfortunately, tonight only the brightest of stars are out, which means there is no way I'm going to be able to see the Orion Nebula. nebula. I can see Orion, but only it's outlining major stars. Um, so yeah, um, Unfortunately, no luck tonight. The next video coming out will be me culminating the Newtonian telescope. All right, guys. I hope you are staying safe, having a wonderful week, and as always, enjoy your telescopes and enjoy this big galaxy. Have a good one, guys.